Marguerite Dignan's Suffolk sheep was not among the leaders in his last competition, and she doesn't expect he'll win a ribbon here either, but she'll spend hours grooming him nonetheless. Gary Fitch will show his Dorset breed at 14 fairs this summer. This entry's down to one half inch of coat, ideal to enhance the conformation the judges will look for. The overall structure and correctness of the animal, uh, correctness down its top and length of loin, depth of muscle, and how it stands on its feet and legs, and a little bit of everything ties into it. How prestigious is winning an award here at the Del Mar Fair? Um, in this division, quite prestigious because there are a lot of Dorset breeders down in this region. Kim Kirkpatrick hopes her young shorthorn bull will capture the attention of the judges. What happens to him after the judging? Well, it depends if he does real good, then he'll go to other fairs, and we may keep him for ourselves, or we may sell him to someone else to use as a bull. Peg Shackelford's Mustang Santana won't be involved in judging, but rather in an exhibition. It's not the quest for a ribbon that brings her here, but the love of a breed. What takes time is the training and working with the animal to make them Presentable. He's a young horse. He's only two, and he hasn't been out very much, as, as you can tell. Livestock are what county fairs are all about. The carnival aspect will draw many people to Del Mar over the next 18 days, but if you come here and don't go through these barns and talk with the breeders, you'll come away just a bit empty. Dave Cohen, News 8, Del Mar.